Oh yeah, there we go. That's a lump. <laughs> That's a that is a belter. Shut up and sit down. Welcome back folks, how are we doing? Uh, welcome to uh, Grafham Water again. It's a little bit of a different day from last time we were out. It's flat calm again, we've got a bit of wind coming today, forecast, and then it's dropping off again to a flat calm. Um, water's lovely and clear and there's fish moving all over the place. We've come down the reservoir here and we're down between the dam and Aboy um, and we're going to aim to uh, fish along this sort of line here, probably ending up in Gaines Cove. Loads of buzzers coming off, um, there's hawthorns being blown onto the water as well plenty of fish to have a go at so we're going to set ourselves up today with a washing line set up that's the way we're going to approach this today um, rod uh, is a 10 foot 7 weight uh, line paired up with a floating line straight floating line the rocket floater of course and leader of 10 pound fluorocarbon and the realize well, the reason we've gone up to 10 pound is because you've got pods of fish here um, and the likelihood of getting double hookups is very very high the likelihood of connecting with something big is also very very high there's some really good fish down here at the moment so hence stepping up um, fly setup and leader setup so the leader setup four flies today okay uh, three nymphs and a little booby little blob booby on the point we've gone from the leader joint to the top dropper is six foot and then i've got four foot four foot and four foot so it's giving you a total leader length of 18 feet there um, and we've spaced it out with a couple of nymphs up the top so we've got a little orange head cruncher on the top dropper um, we've got a little green hollow cruncher on the second dropper all size tens a little buzzer uh, a little cool buzzer and then down to this uh, little blob booby on the point there that's a little size 12 so not a big blob booby what i'll do is always i'll leave a description i'll leave some pictures in a description up here for you to see and i'll also tag in some tie and stuff up here for you as well so you can get the tie links as well um, and what we're going to do is just going to take drifts as this wind gets up today we'll be able to start drifting and moving into these fish um, and we'll have a go and see what we can do see if we can pick up one or two fish i'm out here with vince today again and uh, hopefully we'll get a nice boatload of fish between us so uh, let's give it a shot so we've just come back up the drift again we're back up the top of games right on we've come right on this edge in here we nicked a couple of fish on that last drift down towards the uh, the bottom of the bay there but i feel there's more fish up here on the edges of these trees so we're really going to start concentrating our efforts up here and seeing what we can do there's definitely seems to be more fish what we'll do is we'll just drift down here and i'll keep just bouncing us in there on the engine just to keep us on these edges here I don't know whether it's because it's a couple of degrees warmer in here at the moment with this cold northerly. It's definitely not as chilly in here. There does seem to be more fish in here. Still same tactics, floating line. Two crunches, a buzzer and a little blob booby. And just work it back. It's not static, but it's not far off. A little pull now and again to bring them all back up again. Oh, look at that, straight around the pool. Bang, he's at it. Yeah, it's definitely fish up this edge yet. And again, I think it's one of these little stockies. He's had the colour. We want the big granddaddies. Oh no, he's had the buzzer. He's had the buzzer. Oh, late. Okay, of him getting back. Perfect. Right, let's try that again. Cut the pop, 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 just in case there's something up and looking. And then just slow figure of eight. And definitely gonna have a look on the dries, I think, in a bit. So we can't nick one or two of these off the top. Nice to see one of those big residents. They're in here. That was a good fish there. Look. 
always cover the fish, always cover them. Let's see if he comes in as a look. Yeah, there's fish moving all the way in front of us now, isn't there? And again. He's on it, he's on the boob, but he's just swelled at it. And again, tease him into it. He's on it, got it. Took the booby, so I'm swirling at it, so we played with it. And you can talk these fish into it. It's only a, another little stocky again by the look of it, but a bit of fun. Just a little stocky. Come on, calm down. He's a bit green. Got him in a bit green. There's that blob booby. You know, to touch it. Lovely. Didn't need to touch him. And away he goes. Excellent. Another one moving there, look. Give it a couple of pulls. And then just static still. Oh, and again he nibbled it. He's still there, he's got him, he's had him this time. Yeah, I like that, that colour in here. Bit of a better one. We want one of those big silver fish. It's a good sized fish, I see. I quite give him the credit that he's due. Oh, chunky fish, and you see it on my hand. Nice fish. Whoosh, away he goes. Still yet to see a bigger fish though. And these smaller fish seem to be getting to the flies quicker. And these more bigger residents, they will be swimming with them. You'd expect them about being taking the nymphs. Thumping take there, right near the boat. Thumping take, he's still there, he's got him. Oh, he's off. He's off. Yeah, getting on that colour, I reckon. Oh, 
<laughs> I forgot a fish on just by um, I think he's off. No, he's still there. Crikey. Alright, I better go because I've got a fish on the end of the line. Bye. That's left handed fishing with, while talking to the missus. <laughs> yeah, I'm doing it. <laughs> Do you think you're still on there? Oh, yeah, still, of course you're still on there. <laughs> Taking the nymph, isn't he? <laughs> that's the, uh, I think they call that a Charlie fish. That's the, uh, let's chat on the telephone and uh, just leave the nymphs out there and wait for them to get eaten fish. Charlie, that's a, that's a tribute to you, mate. That's a Charlie fish. Better fish this one. I don't think this one's a little stocky. Bit more of a, been in there, a bit more silvered up this one. Got a bit of fight about him as well. Now we got a nice looking fish. He's taking the green crunch up. Yeah, but much better fish that. Much, much better fish than that. Now that's what Grafham's known for. Lovely bar of silver, look at him. And that green cruncher just in the side of the chops there. That's lovely. Get him unhooked and back. Smash him. What is this turning into a cracking little session? Fish moving, taking the nymphs and the booby on the point as well. A couple of nice ones in the bag now. I'm just going to carry through on this drift here. I'm really, really tempted to set up the dries. I just want to see a few more fish actually getting their heads up, but I reckon we could probably tempt them. We'll definitely have a little go at them. All the way through the bay, you can just see fish moving all the way through the bay here as we're pushing through. And I say pushing through, we're hardly moving, which is ideal really, because we can take our time on these fish. There's no boat pressure at all. It's every so look, there's not a single boat down here. Every single boat is up on the north shore and leaving all this lovely fishing to us. Let's turn out to be a lovely morning. This is 11 o'clock, we've had about a dozen fish in the boat already, which is a nice start. What would be really nice is to pick up one of the big ones. Oh, there we go. Steady, steady, steady. Just after that little pull, he just had it. There's loads of fish in here. You can't argue with this sport. You really can't argue with this sport. Really are wanting the colour this morning. That no, we've had a few fish on the nymphs, but they're mainly getting out this the booby. Okay, happy days. Getting a bit more uh, silvery fish. Nice, recovered. Yes. Excellent. Cut the poles, get it looking, and then stop. He's just swirled on it. Give it another little pull away from him. He just swirled on it. Oh, look, he's had it. Had to, really. There 
can be cut. Better fish you get. Shaking his head. Oh, missed the opportunity there. Now we've got to play him out. He gave up a bit quickly. A chunky fish. Colours on it. Beautiful looking fish. And away it goes. And again, another little touch. Come on. There he goes. Oh, yeah. What a take. Yeah, still got a booby on him. <laughs> it's just nailing it's, it. It really is near enough static. It's just, it's just oh, pulling it out of your hand. Uh, again, I think there was two fish on there. I think I had a double shooter on there. I think the top drop was gone. Isn't it? Middle, middle drop was rocked off, ripped off, so I had two fish on there again. Right, that's what we've got, and there's something a bit special here, so I'll turn the camera on. We've got a proper grapham lump on here, so we'll see if we can get him in for you. He's taken the buzzer by the look of it. He's a real absolute belter of a fish, this tail on him. Look at that, best fish of the day, this one. Let's get him in, see if we can land him. Come on. What a cracker. What a cracker. This is what you come to Grafham for. You just can't bully fish like this. You cannot bully them. Oof. Absolute belter, come on, stay on, let's get him around the back of the boat. Steady, steady, steady. Oh yeah, there we go. That's a lump. <laughs> That's a that is a belter. That is a belter. What a fish. That is... I don't know how much that weighs. What a day. We had a fantastic session. We're down here on the seat now. Um, 
we fished up in games. We fished along the uh, willows there. We've gone and fished on the sludge point. We've come all the way up here, wee boy. Uh, sorry to uh, the seat, and uh, it's just been fish after fish after fish, just slamming takes. Some really nice fish in the mix as well. Uh, this morning was all about the blobs and the colour. They seem to want to take the blobs and the colour. And as the days developed, we've gone more and more and more on the nymphs. We've messed around with dial barks on, and we've had a few more crunches on and. The sport's been tremendous. I mean, I don't know. We've lost count of the amount of fish we've had today. It really has been brilliant. Um, as always, Grafham on top form. So, uh, thanks for joining us again. Um, if you enjoyed the video, as always, please click like, click subscribe, um, and I'll try to keep getting this content out to you as often as I can. Uh, we're going to have another hour here. We might just bounce the bank down towards the lodge and call it a day in an hour or so. But thanks for watching. It's been a tremendous day. Thank you.